everybody. I'm on my way to one of the last remaining Sears stores that's open in the United States. Uh, according to the latest that's available online, it looks like there's about 17 stores left in the U.S. It's not the Sears hometown, but the actual Sears stores. And I'm on my way to one of them to see what they got left. So, here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see what they got left. Got two metric socket sets. Just a simple like shallow socket set, 10 piece. I think these were like 1099. 
I got two of them. One for the wife's car, one for, I don't know, throwing in the, in the workbench. And then I got this hydraulic stool. I think this was like 55 bucks maybe. All right, conclusions. Well, the store is it's definitely open. They are still doing business. Um, I got help from a nice lady who showed me where to go to pick up the merchandise from online purchases. A uh, guy came right away and got me what I needed. So the staff is still there. It's still They're still friendly. There aren't many of them, just a couple people in the whole store. But I'll tell you this, the merchandise was very thinly spread. In the tool section, you could see like 95% of the sockets and wrenches and things were not there. Um, a lot of stores right now do have some pretty good Black Friday month. Apparently that's what we're doing now is Black Friday month sales. So, you know, I can't say I'm surprised with the price cuts. Those socket sets, like I said, they're like 10, 11 bucks, which is pretty reasonable. Um, even for Chinese made stuff. So, but I mean, in some of those other departments, they were pretty bare. Yeah, it was a pretty bare store and very, very few customers. There was maybe about five customers in the whole store while I was there. Um, I've seen pictures and videos online of people in other Sears where the tool section is still totally loaded and they got great deals going on. That may be the case at certain stores. It's not the case here in Braintree, Massachusetts. There's not a whole lot going on, especially in the tool section. They had a good selection of boxes still which they were selling at about 50 to 60% off, you know, a couple hundred bucks for the boxes. But, um, you know, after this holiday season, I would not be at all surprised if they begin the process of closing down this location. Every year they announce a few more closures, so I'm sure within the next couple, the next couple years we're going to be down to just a, ha a handful of uh, Sears stores left in the U.S., but that was a quick trip to one of the few remaining uh, that are still open. You got a quick look inside. So they are still open. They are still doing business. There just aren't a whole lot of them left. It's too bad. It's really too bad because I remember as a kid, you know, in the 80s, 90s, you know, certainly before then, Sears has been around for a long time. But, but back then, the stores were lively. There was a lot going on. You saw a little bit of holiday decor, but it was very tired. It just wasn't, uh, wasn't, it was a shell of its old self, I'll tell you that. So, it's sad, it's sad to see it go, but, you know, at least we can get a little bit of the experience before, uh, before it's all gone. So, thanks for watching.